Hey, hey everybody, Mr. Mack here. Um, swooping in to provide some additional support here so we can uh, keep the freak out to a minimum on these kind of problems. So, look, I know uh, today in class this whole idea of changing the terms sign seemed a little bit confusing, but uh, let me try to uh, take the confusion away here. So we looked at number 12, and we, we noticed that the pattern, if it were all positive, okay, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, was, would be increasing by 2 from 3 to 5, 5 to 7, 7 to 9, 9 to 11. So we know it's like, okay, what are our next two terms for this? So we have 11 plus 2, we would have 13, and then the next one would be 15, but of course we see in the pattern we are alternating between positive and negative. So this is positive 11, the next one would be a negative 13, a positive 15. Okay, so barring that um, uh, change in the sign, we would see that since we're adding by 2, we need to multiply by 2 the nth term. So remember n is just the, the number we are in the pattern sequence. So first, first, second, third, fourth, fifth in the pattern or term. We also call these the, the number of term, the nth term in the sequence. So um, if I put one in here, two times one is two. I see I need to adjust it to three, so we add one. And I hope you see this works for the other numbers in this uh, sequence here. So we've got 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5, 2 times 3 plus 1 is 7. Okay, so we have this basic rule for when everything is positive. Now, these two rules are rules that allow us to change the terms from uh, negative to positive and positive to negative. So let's see if we can figure out why. Um, if we have a negative number, in this case, let's say negative 1, and I multiply a negative number times itself, we know we get a positive number. So this time, I just did it two times, right? I multiply negative 1 times itself two times. So in other words, to, another way to write that is negative 1 squared. Now, if we do negative 1 times negative 1 times a negative 1, or maybe I should write it like this, this first negative times a negative would become a positive one. So this is a positive one. And now I'm multiplying that times a negative one. We now have a negative one. So it's a positive times a negative. So this, another way to write this, is I uh, negative one to the third. Now, if we do this again, we will see that it turns it back to a positive. I'll just do one more. I should do one more time here. Let's say, let's get rid of this. All right, so I have a negative one to the fourth would be a negative one times a negative one times a negative one times negative 1. If I multiply these two negative 1's together, we get a positive 1. I multiply these two, I would get a positive 1. And a positive 1 times a positive 1 is 1. OK, so I hope you see that this gives us 1. So even powers give us positive, and odd ones give us negative. So if I do start off with the first one, negative 1 to the 1, that's just negative 1. So this pattern right here allows us to start off the first term being negative. So the first term will be negative, the second term will be positive, the third term will be negative, the fourth term will be positive. So any odd terms are always going to be negative, any even terms are always going to be positive. Okay, so... This sequence right here, number 12, starts off as positive.
positive. So there's a trick that we can do in this equation to make the power start off an even number. And all we have to do is add 1 right here. It's the same equation except we add 1 in the exponent to n. So let's think about this. If we were put 1 in for n right here, okay, this means our first term, which we're looking to be even in, in number th for 3, a positive 3 here. This is our first term, n is 1. If I plug in 1 here, this is now raising this to a 2. So when we raise, when we have negative 1 to the second power, that gives us a positive 1. Okay, so now all we have to do is put both of these parts together. And so let's create a little bit more room here. Uh, we're going to take these two expressions that we've just come up with, okay, and we're going to put it together. So we've got, we've got the y equals, we have the 2n plus 1. This helps us get to 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15 right here. And then we're going to take this part and we're going to put it right in, in the beginning. So we have negative 1 raised to the n plus 1. And that's the whole thing put together. So when I uh, substitute a value in here, so let's start with the nth term 1. I put 1 in for, so we're going to get this. Okay, we get Let's try when n equals 1. So n equals 1. What do we get? y equals negative 1 raised to the 1 plus 1 times 2 times 1, because that's what n is, plus 1. So what happens with this first part right here? 1 plus 1 is 2, so we get negative 1 to the second power times here. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Negative 1 to the second power is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. That worked. That's our first term. Okay. Let's take a look at, maybe we'll do check a couple more here. <clears throat> so we've got, let's try when n is 2. So that means y equals negative 1 raised to the, 2 plus 1 times 2 times 2 plus 1. I'm keeping all my parentheses because I need to do order of operations. So we first do parentheses. 2 plus 1 is 3. So we got negative 1 raised to the third. Now let's do everything in parentheses here. Okay, I do multiply, then add. So 2, plus, two times 2 plus 1, that's 5. Negative 1 cubed, we already saw what negative 1 cubed is up here. It equals a negative 1. So this part gives us a negative 1, and we're multiplying by 5. That's negative 5. There it is. That's our second term. All right, last one. Let's do plum. So we'll come back up here, and let's try it. And now I'm just doing this to check it, all right? I'm just trying to prove to you that this pattern, this rule, works for our number pattern. So let's do n equals 3. So y equals, okay, we've got negative 1 raised to the 3 plus 1, because I substituted 3 in for n there, 2 times 3 plus 1. Okay, let's do everything in parentheses first. We got negative 1 raised to the 4 times 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Negative 1 raised to the 4th, that's an even power. This is going to be a positive 1 times 7. y equals 7. That's our next term. Okay, we can keep going and it's going to work. All right. So that's our solution there. Oh, and then we need to figure out uh, in the problem, we're asked to find the 10th term, right? So uh, let's do the 10th term.
using lots of space here. So we're going to do when n is 10. So we got y equals negative 1 to the 10 plus 1 times 2 times 10 plus 1. I just substituted 10 into n right here. All right, so we get y equals negative 1 raised to the 11. That's an odd power. Times 2 times 10 is 20 plus 1 is 21. Negative 1 to the odd power is going to be negative times 21. Our answer for this is negative 21. That's the 10th term. Okay. So uh, let's look at 14. I, maybe uh, 14, I should have led off with 14. Maybe 14 might be easier. I don't know. It's a fraction, so that's what makes it, I guess, a little bit more difficulty. Um, but in our fraction, OK, first of all, uh, let's see if we can find the next two terms. OK, so negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1. We see that the numerator pattern is just changing the sign starting from negative to positive. So we have negative 1 over, and this next one is going to be negative 1 over. OK, what goes on the bottom? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. We're just adding 2 here on the bottom, right? So the bottom, I think we're, we should be comfortable with what's happening in the bottom. It's just 2n, isn't it? Since we're increasing by 2, that means we multiply 2 times n. So if we put 1 in, that we get 2. If we put 2 in, we get 4. I think that's OK, right? Now, all we need to do is start with a negative 1 and then switch it, the sign every even 1. So uh, that's the same one that we just used over here. It's this one, right? We need to use this part. So I'm just going to take this beginning and put it on top. So negative 1 raised to the n. Uh, no, we want it to be negative. What are we, starting off this one a positive? Uh, oh, yeah. So let me back the train up here. So uh, we started uh, positive and number 12 here. Now we need to start negative. So we're just going to use this one right here. This one starts off with a negative term. So we're just going to write here negative 1 to the nth power. There we go. So let's test this. When we put 1 in here, we get negative 1 to the first. That's a negative. If I put 2 in for n, negative 1 squared is going to be positive. Negative 1 cubed is negative. There we go. All right. This is our rule for this pattern. Uh, so now we need to get uh, what is uh, the tenth term in the sequence, y equals negative 1 to the tenth over 2 times 10. OK, uh, 10 is even number. Negative 1 to the even number is going to give us a positive 1 over 20. That is the solution for that. OK, and Very good. I erased that other one. So I'm going to stop there. Hopefully that, uh, that helps. And we'll do more of these tomorrow in class. Or, um, so 13, we got another one. Heads up on 13 right here. We have uh, this very similar thing. We're alternating signs. And if we got rid of the signs, we see we're going from 1 to 5, 5 to 9, 9 to 13. You can see what's increasing here. And then we're just changing the signs, starting with a negative. So we need to use the part in the previous work where we start with a negative instead of a positive. OK, I'm going to stop there. Hope that helps. I'll see you all soon.